Olive oil. Your questions answered. Should I use my best olive oil for cooking? We and I fight over olive oil. So, and he is correct about this, that for frying, for anything that's sort of like very utilitarian, use a utilitarian olive oil. And he always yells at me because I tell him to use the fancy olive oil, like this olive oil, to cook with, and he, it goes against his nature, which is correct because it's expensive. And it also has a more subtle flavor than this. What can I use my olive oil for if I'm not meant to cook with it? What you say about olive oil, which I really like, is that you use it to season things, so it gives it a flavor, mm -hmm. which I don't think Americans think about olive oil that way, that it's actually, when you finish it, you're using it as if you were using a salt and pepper. It's a seasoning. Why are olive oils different colors? Olive oil oxidizes because it's a natural product. That's why they put olive oil in a dark bottle so that the, when the sun hits it, it doesn't turn it brown. I'm just gonna tell a story and you can disagree. <laughs> so I buy a very green, fresh press before I leave here in October, and I taste it. It's very bright tasting. It is almost sharp, so it, it, it almost like if you were eating some grass from outside. I actually put that in a clear glass bottle because it's such a bright, pretty color that they want you to see the difference. You know, it's like very bright, very vivid green. And then as it sits on my counter, if I don't use it quickly, it starts changing color into more golden color. I can tell you have some sort of opinion. Am I doing okay so far? How can I tell if it is a good olive oil? The way you can tell a good olive oil is that it's not an industrial olive oil. In other words, I mean, Bertoli makes a good oil. It's delicious. However, it's, it's like an institutional brand. Olive oil from Italy, if it comes from a grower, is an artisan olive oil and all the olives will come from that area or that farm. If you buy an industrial olive oil, and it says it right on the front, so it's not like they're trying to hide it from you. It comes from all different parts, so it may have Greek olive oil in it, it may have olive oil from Turkey, it may have olive oil, I mean, from everywhere. When they say, oh, I really want to buy a local olive oil in America, my answer is always this. Well, then you should buy a Californian olive oil. And that actually is an, a local olive oil. Okay, so I really just want to import an Italian olive oil. You know, my friend Frances Mays, she has her own olive grove. She produces her own olive oil. That will be from one grove. And I'll put that down below. You can buy their Bramasole um, olive oil. It's delicious. And then you know it comes from one grove of olives. I mean, if you really want to find finishing oil, I think the best thing to do is to go to one of the resources in my book because there are a lot of really good Italian resources in America and they import the good stuff because they're Italians and they know the people that they're dealing with. I mean, it's really all about the people. It's like, do you trust this vendor making olive oil? That's why I've said Bramasol because I've been there and I've seen the olive trees and I know Frances Mays and I know she likes to make olive oil and it's delicious. What's the difference in taste between industrial and locally grown olive oils? So the factory olive oil, this one is more buttery, subtle, doesn't have any notes in it really. This has more notes in it. So, and the notes are always like green grass is the way that I would describe it. Like when you drink um, wheatgrass juice, it's got that kind of flavor. And then it catches you, like all of a sudden you're like feel a little burning here. But you can tell a good olive oil because it has grassy notes and it catches your throat. Does the color of the olive oil make a difference? <laughs> But olive oil is usually this golden color, and the only way to know if it's really fresh or artisan is that it will taste very grassy and grab you in the throat. So color really has nothing to do with good or bad olive oil. Although when you see that acid green olive oil, I like have to buy it, the fresh press. The fresh press is the only one that has a really different color. What are your thoughts on flavored oils? I'm not a big fan of American flavored olive oils if you want me to throw something under the bus. You know, I think the garlic flavored olive oils are just so skifo, mm. disgusting. I have not found one like the Maro hot oil that we have, because they make these. So one's a lemon, amazing on salad, you don't cook with these. And then one's a hot pepper, amazing on pizza. There are all these videos about like, 
flavoring your olive oil. Like, I don't get it. Do you have any top tips? Okay, so I am going to tell you something that's going to blow your mind. You're coming to Italy. You're buying a lot of products. You're super excited when you get home. And then you're sort of afraid to use them because you're going to use them up and you don't know when you're going to get back to Italy. But here is our advice. Use it. Use it up. Because as the oil ages, it declines in flavor. So I say, come home, cook with all the olive oil, and then come back to Italy and buy more if that's what you want to do. But again, there are really great resources in the back of my book. They're, they're wonderful Italian uh, vendors that you can buy from directly, all sorts of interesting, great products. Olive oil is one of them. So make sure that um, you use that oil, right? Use right. that oil, so. use that stuff. So thanks guys uh, for joining us and um, letting us talk to you about olive oil with a real Italian chef. Happy cooking, you guys. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Peace. Ciao.